And welcome back. We've got another fall-like night on tap here in the state line. Plenty of cool air, and it is clear out there as well. So a beautiful night ahead. But temperatures are poised to warm up later into the week. A stormy Wednesday is on tap as well. And then as we head into next weekend, we're going to watch for another chance of a few showers and storms, especially come Sunday. Our Mercy L SkyCam Weather Network cameras. This one is out in Boone County at Poplar Grove Airport. There, there's the moon there rising. Looks like close to a full moon out there. Plenty of clear skies. If you head outside, you will definitely get a good picture or a good view. Of that. This takes us down to Rochelle. All is good down there as well. Camera down there looks off towards the west, so you won't see the moon on that particular camera. And then as we advance this one more time here, we're going to take ourselves to the east side of Rockford. Well, maybe we're not going to take ourselves to the east side of Rockford. Nonetheless, it is clear we have absolutely no weather concerns for us tonight. Take a look the entire area Northern Plains, Central Plains, Upper Midwest, Northern Illinois, into the Great Lakes region. Just absolutely gorgeous weather. No uh, rain, no clouds really within several hundred miles of the state line. Take a look at the temperatures across the nation. I'm showing you the national picture here because the green and yellow shade up in the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains into the Great Lakes, that's where we are. We fall into the cooler air. That's because we're getting northwesterly winds behind that departing system that moved through yesterday. But look what happens just off to the west. The shades start to turn a yellowish, orangish red. And that means warmer air is already returning to those areas. And that is what we're going to be seeing by the time we get to the latter half of the week. 56 now in Freeport. Temperatures continue to fall under these clear skies. 59 out in Galena. So you guys are in the 50s as well. 60 Rochelle, 61 in Rockford. So it's definitely a cool night. I'm forecasting 53 by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. That would be a good 8 degrees below average. And only the fourth time or only four other times have our temperatures hit 53 or less since June 1st. So this would definitely be categorized as an unseasonably chilly night. And check out the dew points. Upper 40s to lower and mid 50s across the board. 56 Rockford, 55 Janesville, 48 Monroe. So that is why it feels so nice outside. There's no humidity factor. And I'm going to keep it in the dry and comfortable categories we head to uh, tomorrow as well as Tuesday. So a nice pair of days ahead to start off our work week tonight. Mostly clear skies. We're going to keep the first one weather risk low. Absolutely no issues for us. Tomorrow morning, the kids, believe it or not, you might need a light jacket at the bus stop. 55 degrees under clear skies. That is something you really don't see much of in August. But tomorrow, a perfect summer-like day. 79 degrees for a high temperature. Perfect blue skies throughout the entire day. I don't think there's going to be much in the way of cloud cover at all tomorrow afternoon. That's courtesy of high pressure centered to our south this evening. That's going to continue to work its way towards the east. It's going to be close enough to keep all the precipitation and all the cloud cover at bay. In fact, take a look as we keep going through Monday, Monday night, now into Tuesday. This is uh, about as boring as a future cast will ever look. No cloud cover, no precipitation near the region. So for tonight, a fall-like night for us. 53 clear skies. Perfect night to open up those windows. And as Christy said, apple cider sounds pretty good right about now. 79 tomorrow, sunny skies. A beautiful afternoon for us. Just no weather concerns at all. Tuesday looks nice as well. 84, so there's summer again for us. A few storms Wednesday and then Friday and Saturday for the apple orchard opening at Poplar in Poplar Grove. Those Edwards, yeah. Perfect days for it. It's going to be delicious yes, too, I might add. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs>